All amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with the Spain News Update. We'll have a look at some of the main stories that have caught my attention in the press in Spain. And we'll also take a look at some comments that have been left on the channel in recent times by viewers. Before I begin, a huge thanks to all of the people that have supported the channel in recent times, whether it's by buying me a coffee, whether it's through the Super Thanks option on YouTube, longer term supporters on Patreon or the members of this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for that support. Now, straight into the news. And the recent anti-tourism protests in the Balearic Islands might be starting to have an effect on the tourism industry there. Because as we can read here, protests against mass tourism in the Balearics cause concern among tourists. The demonstrations and repeated protests against tourist saturation that are being repeated this summer in Mallorca and other parts of the Balearic Islands are beginning to create concern among tourists about the possibility that some of these protests may affect them. The manager of the Association of Companies that brings together the tourist retail industry, Maria Gilbert, acknowledges that this year they are receiving calls from customers who have already booked their holidays to find out how far the protests have spread. Gilbert points out that there have been some cancellations as a result of the news reaching customers, but for the moment they are anecdotal, she explains. These protests have been widely reported in the European and international national media, especially in the United Kingdom and Germany, the two main outbound markets for Mallorca. Television crews from the main channels in both countries have followed the protests closely, with special programs analysing how the situation has led to this situation of discontent among the residents of Mallorca. So there we go, those anti-tourism protests in the Balearic Islands starting to cause concern among some tourists. People wanting to know, will the protests and the this anti-tourism sentiment affect their holiday. And let's be honest, if I were going to Mallorca or another one of the Balearic Islands, I would also want to know if this was going to affect my holiday. Because I wouldn't want to be sitting at a bar or restaurant and be confronted by an irate local. Second piece of news now, an Argentine president, Javier Millet, is at it again, attacking Spain. And as we can read here, Millet after the attack on Messi's house. In Spain, the communists want to assassinate the rich. The cultural battle that the ultra-right-wing Javier Millet is waging against communism in 2024 has moved to Ibiza. The Argentinian president has expressed his solidarity with footballer Lionel Messi after his house on the Mediterranean island was vandalised by a group of environmental activists. Millet has accused the attack on communities who want to murder the rich and abolish the police to end climate change and called on the government of Pedro Sánchez to guarantee the safety of Argentines living in Spain. I sympathise with the Messi family for this cowardly and delirious event, the Argentine president said on social media. The group Futuro Vegetal has claimed responsibility for the vandalism of the luxury property, which was spray painted black and red to protest the role of the rich in the climate crisis. So Mr. Malay added again, criticising Spain with absolutely ridiculous comments. And has anybody ever said to Mr. Malay that perhaps he would be better off staying away from Twitter and keeping his ludicrous comments to himself? Don't know, just putting it out there. And the final piece of news we'll look at today, and it's a strange story about a tourist couple that forgot their young children on the bus, realised it, and followed the bus by taxi for 40 minutes in Valencia. A tourist couple who were travelling around the city of Valencia forgot their three and five year old children on an EMT bus when they got off to continue their tourist route, but when they realised this, they ordered a taxi to follow the bus, and after 40 minutes, they were reunited with their children. These events occurred in the last week of June, although they have now come to light as the municipal transport company has reported an incident that has remained an anecdote. The foreign couple who was sightseeing in Valencia left the bus on line 28 in Calle Colón and began their tour of the city. It seems that they were initially heading towards Calle del Poeta Querol to visit the Palacio de Marques de Dos Aguas. However, their two children, aged three and five, continued to travel on the bus 
house, apparently in peace, and at the second stop they were surprised not to see their parents. So there we go, a strange story, as I said, of a family sightseeing in Valencia, hopped on public transport, but the parents got off, leaving the children behind. And questions about this story need to be asked. For example, why didn't the children ring the bell and get off at the next stop? That's what I'd like to know. Now let's have a look at some comments that have been left on videos recently. One here from Dougie. Hi Stuart, Dougie from Javier. Enjoyed your trips around Spain. Any more planned? Been to Madrid, Sevilla, Valencia, Cartagena, Murcia and Albacete, which was a lovely city. Would like to go to other recommended places. Yeah Dougie, thanks for the comment and good to see that you enjoy my travel videos around Spain. And do I have any more of those videos planned? Absolutely. In fact, I can't wait to hit the road again. And if you're looking, Dougie, to visit more places in Spain from where you are there in Javier, I recommend the autonomous community of Aragon, not far from where you are. You could also visit Cuenca, not too far also. And if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you could head to the northwest of the country, for example, Galicia. And while you're in that part of Spain, visit Asturias as well. One here from Tex, tried that beer too effing bitter. Omegang Rare Vos Belgian Ale is the best beer I've ever tasted. Yeah, Tex, thanks for the comment and obviously referring to a Spanish beer that was recently voted the best beer in the world at a recent competition here in Portugal. The beer in question is from the Aragon region in Spain and is called Amba Especial. And I must admit, I do enjoy the beers from that brewery. However, Tex not a fan of that beer, too effing bitter, the words he used. So I'll give the beer that Tex recommends a try and see if it's any good. One here from Phoenix. I'm here in Tharagotha with an amber in hand. It is humid here. The city is practically deserted as everyone's gone to the coast. I was in San Salvador on the coast last week at my in-laws house and it was super humid to the point it was unbearable. Even though it was 30 degrees Celsius, it was nice to get back to a dry 40 degrees Celsius here in Tharagotha. Yeah, Phoenix, thanks for the comment and I'm with you give me a 40 degree day in either Madrid or Zaragoza in that dry heat over a 30 degree day on the coast in Spain any day of the week because for me there's nothing worse than a hot humid climate and enjoy Tharagotha in August because as we know when the locals clear out and head to the coast the city becomes even better. One here from JAK new to your channel interesting videos but the misleading clickbait titles is annoying. Yeah JAK thanks for the comment and I had a few other people say that the title of the other day's video was clickbait and maybe misleading but personally I couldn't agree less and here's why. As you can see the title of the video do not return to Spain and it was clearly related to content in the video and not misleading at all because as you can see the first slide that we saw was the PSOE party the Socialist Party of Spain traveled to Switzerland to convince Puigdemont to abort his return in other words Mr Puigdemont do not return to Spain so please do me a favor watch all of the video not selected parts and maybe you'll understand where the titles come from one here from Marco thanks for your great videos, Stu. Who exactly has decided that Puigdemont is the number one fugitive? What about mega drug dealers or multiple murderers? Yeah, Marco, thanks for the comment. And basically, I have decided to call Mr. Puigdemont Spain's number one fugitive, and it's called satire. I understand that in this day and age, when people have trouble understanding what satire is, and let's be honest, it is a dying art because people get offended about everything nowadays. Every now and then, I throw a little bit of satire in. It might be hard to detect but it's in there. One here from Barry. Hi, love the channel. I holiday to Spain two to three times a year. I'm thinking about moving in a few years. Would you or your viewers recommend a region for retirement? Cheaper cost of living the better. Thank you. Yeah, Barry, thanks for the comment. Good to see that you love the channel and are planning to retire in Spain in a few years time. What I'm going to do is open this one up to the community because they know a lot more about Spain than I do. Some of the better places to retire in Spain. So uh, let Barry know in the comments section below your opinions. And the final one here from Koffer, how the hell can you not follow football in Spain? You are living in the wrong country. Yeah, Koffer, thanks for the comment and thanks for the question. And the answer to it is, it's easy.
easy. I can't get interested in a sport where basically only two teams ever have a chance of winning. I could understand that if you were born here, you'd be into football because basically there aren't many sports to choose from. But give me a sport that's a bit more competitive, has a more even competition, and I'll watch it every day of the week. But La Liga, you gotta be joking. On that note, I'll wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. If you have anything to add to the conversation today, the comment section is the place for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.